how to graph a tangent graph. So we'll start in degrees, y equals c plus a tangent b theta minus d. So that's a general equation. This is vertical shift, amplitude. This d is a phase shift, theta in degrees. The important thing to note, b in tangent is 180 degrees divided by b gives me my period. Okay, tangent's the hardest graph there is. So let's do an example. y equals 3 plus 1 tangent 2 theta minus 45 degrees. So what I do first is I mark up my equation. Vertical shift, amplitude, phase shift. I'm in degrees. 180 divided by 2 is 90. That's a full cycle. Half cycle in 45 quarter cycle in 22.5 degrees. So I mark up my equation first, then I label my axes. Because it's tangent, tangent's the only graph I do a little subgraph in. And that subgraph just takes the period into account. So it's going to start negative 45 and go to 45. Because the total distance is 90, so I have to take half of that to get to the left and half of that to the right. So there's my little subgraph. Once I have that subgraph, then I push everything over by this amount. So negative 45 plus 45 is 0. 0 plus 45 is 45. 45 plus 45 is 90. So that's my x-axis. And then now I need to label my y-axis. From 3, I go up 1 to 4, down 1 to 2. This is theta. This is y. Now I have my quarter points at 22 and a half, and 67 and a half. And then right at 45, I'm at 3. At 67 and a half, I'm at 4. At 22 and a half, I'm at 2. Connect my dots. It gets ever closer to that asymptote, but never quite touches it. So the couple of things to remember about tangent and cotan, it's 180 divided by this B value to get your period. Mark up your equation so you don't get any mistakes, and also start with a little subgraph for tangent so that you see the overall period in no account. So the overall period is 90 because of that too, and I split that to get negative 45 and 45. After I have that, then I shift it over this amount. Let me try a tangent graph in radians now. So let's say y equals negative 3 plus 2 tangent, um, let's do this, pi over 2, x, because I'm in radians, minus 3. Again, mark up my equation. I shift down 3, amplitude is 2 period is not 2 pi but pi so I do pi divided by pi over 2 which is pi times 2 over pi divided by is multiplying by the reciprocal so my period is 2 half cycle in 1 quarter cycle and a half and I phase shift over 3 so I'll do another subgraph my total period is 2 so it's going to cycle between negative 1 and 1 total distance is 2. So then from there label my x-axis, x radians. Negative 1 I go over 3 so I go from 2. 1 plus 3 is 4. Half cycle at 3. Quarter cycle at 2.5 and 3.5. And Vertical shift is down negative 3. From negative 3 I go up 2 and down to center my tangent graph is exactly at 3 negative 3 asymptotes are at 2 and 4 at 3 and a half I'm at negative 1 at 2 and a half I'm at negative 5 there's that part of the tangent graph and that part of the tangent graph so there's my tangent graph right there alright hopefully that'll help